Need a break? How about a forest fast break? Brought to you by the Idaho Forest Products Commission. Today's topic, clear cutting. In order to have the wood and paper we use every day, we need to harvest and replant a lot of trees. In some forests, this often involves harvesting many trees at the same time. We call it a clear cut or a regeneration harvest. Some people object to clear cutting. Ooh. Yeah, we know, it's ugly. But they are replanted and there's both an ecological and an economic reason for clear cuts. Some forests, such as Douglas fir in the west, aspen in the northern Midwest, and loblolly pine in the southeast depend on full sunlight in order to thrive, especially when trees are young. Without full sun, they have a hard time growing or often won't grow at all. <coughs> Historically, full sun conditions happened after a large-scale disturbance, like a fire or a massive windstorm. Clearcutting imitates events like these to create an open area where the new generation of trees get all the sun they need. Clearcuts also make sense economically. Large-scale harvest allows you to enter the forest once to harvest the trees. People refer to this as economies of scale. The fewer times you enter a forest, the less it costs to harvest the trees and the less it disturbs forest soils, water quality, and wildlife habitat. Many states have laws that limit the size and location of clear cuts to make sure that wildlife habitat, streams, and water resources are protected. Clear cutting. It may not be pretty, at least for a little while, but it's an effective way to get trees growing quickly to renew the forest. And that's the story on clear cutting. Check out more forest fast breaks. Visit IdahoForests.org. Yay, forests! <laughs>